it's time. Hey guys, it's Defofalizer here, and to welcome to my walkthrough of Coraline and the Secret Door. I know it's a week late, well, not a week late, a year late, but, you know, um, better late than never, I suppose. This music's good, I like it, but anyway, I think I, before I do anything, I should get to the backstory of this game. So what is the backstory of it? Well, here's the thing. Inca Games has been hyping this one for a while before it came out. They kept saying, oh, it'll be a little while, it'll be a little while in a bunch of their games. And then they finally came out with it. And last year, I was going to do a walkthrough of it. I was completely unprepared. Because I just looked at the walkthrough, and like the shortest walkthrough I could find was an hour long. And since my walkthroughs tend to be a lot longer than the typical ones, well... You already saw the time that this video lasts. You know, you already know how long it is. Me? I don't have that advantage. So, let's get started here. Okay, Um, allow, no. Deny, don't activate. Coraline in the secret door. I just realized I didn't read the description. Coraline finds a door to a parallel world or something. I don't know. But yeah, this Pink Palace Apartments. Pink Palace Apartments, Ashland, Oregon. We just moved into this apartment so we could be closer to nature. This way my parents will be able to finish the gardening catalog they're working on. They're so busy they hardly pay attention to me, so I have to find a way to avoid boredom in this new house. A little creepy, by the way. This is the music for most of the game, I believe. But, yeah. We're getting started off. I ple I really hope there's no lag, because I actually didn't get to finish my practice run last night, because typically I do a practice run where I like look at the walkthroughs and stuff and play through the game the day before I actually do the walkthrough. I didn't do that this time because my mom was watching Netflix and it hogged up all the bandwidth and the game lagged so much that it was unplayable. Let's talk to Mrs. Jones right here. Can I go out and explore? Coraline, there's mud everywhere outside. Don't make a mess of yourself. But I thought we'd come here to engulf ourselves in nature. Yes, nature, not mud. So instead, go study or clean up your room. That's boring. Exploring is more fun. Then go explore the interior of the house so you know it better. That's just as boring. What are you doing? The same thing I do every day, right for my blog about gardening. That's what they pay me for. Can I see what you're writing? Coraline, I've got to finish this article today. I haven't got time for games. Hey, having an editor is not a game. You never have time for me. Okay, having someone proofread your work is not a game. Can we play hide and seek? I haven't got time to play. I'm working. You're always working. I'm sorry, without this, we couldn't pay the bill. But I want to play hide and seek with you. Okay, I'll go. Okay, go hide. I'll count until a million and then look for you. I don't find that funny. Whatever. Let's go to Doorland. Magical, mystical doors. These doors are so wonderful. I love me some good doors. Hey, dude. Bro. Bruh. How's it going? Hi, Dad. Dad? Ah, hi, Coraline. Can I go outside and explore? Have you asked your mother? Yes, but I, I've already asked, but she said no. Well, there you go. It's not fair. You can give me permission, Dad. I could, Coraline, but I don't want to bother you. want your mother in a bad mood. Grrr. Relax. I know the perfect solution. Let's just use this door. Torture. Sweetie, please keep it quiet. I've got to finish this job today. Well, since I'm not allowed to explore the outside of the house, this is my only source of fun. Okay, okay. I propose this. I hear you. This house is 150 years old. It could be very interesting to explore it. I wanted to explore outside. Well, let me finish. Take this notebook and this pencil. You'll have to draw five objects that are inside this house. 
And what are those objects exactly? The oldest object in the house, a non-square shaped window, a piece of art, a drawing of yourself, and something really weird. I wrote it down in the first page of the notebook. And why would I do that? It sounds boring. If you bring me the five drawings, I'll let you out of the house. Well, that's different. We've got a deal. So we gotta find these five things, and I already know where the five things are, so let's go find the five things. By the way, we need this dish. I don't know why I didn't get it the first time, because it's important to get that dish. We also need this pot, so we can smoke it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I've been making that stupid pun lately. Like, last night I was playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, I'm... And, um, I was on XX Express, and it's like, oh, oh, he stole the pot, we need to get it back. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll get you the pot back so you can smoke it. And I don't know, it's just, like, a stupid joke I've been telling. I don't know why. So anyway, let's put this pot down, and, ooh, there's another bump in the rug. Let's see. Kaboom. Go inside. We get a broom. No. Broom. And also, this hot water heater. This water heater looks to be over a thousand years old. It looks uh, old and rusted out. Yeah, a thousand years old, because they had hot water heaters back then, and, um, I don't know. You see, um, I've never actually, um, seen Coraline, so, um, I don't actually know, like, how well this game follows the movie and how much liberties the Inca Games team took. So, you know, that was obviously the non-square window. Okay, go in. There's nothing for us in here. Go left, go inside. There's a screwdriver somewhere, and I need that screwdriver. So, I better find that screwdriver, or else someone's going to get hurt. Probably me. Oh, here it is, the screwdriver. It looks like a spoon from back there. But trust me, that screwdriver is very important, just like everything else. Because, I mean... Do we even ever use this sugar? I don't know, we might. I forget, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, let's go right and... You know, maybe I should check the notepad to see what I need. Okay, a piece of art, picture of yourself. Okay, well, we have, we're have we in the place for the picture of ourselves, so let's draw it. I'm not that good of an artist, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess, but, you know, as long as it looks somewhat like you, you know. Ah, tragedy. I remember I also dropped my ice cream once. It saddens everyone. Or anyone. Sorry. Okay, now for the weird thing. So, we're gonna get this pot out. And, um, broom. I won't need the broom and pot anymore. Looks like there's a secret door there. You mean the secret door that's referenced in the title? Or are we talking about a different secret door? Anyway, looks blended into the wall. Let's cut it out. It's locked. Now that I remember, my mom talked about... How was anyone supposed to read that? I didn't even click. It just went by like that. Like, I was lagging so bad, I was... Uh, uh, last time, I thought I might have accidentally clicked through it. But no, it just, it just went on its own. I remember you talking about a weird key. If I tell you where that key is, would you promise to leave me alone? I promise. It's in the kitchen drawer behind me. Thanks. Here it is. All right, let's go in. Bricks? What a bummer, I thought there would be something on the other side. This is very weird indeed. I was so eager to see what was on the other side. Well, we know what's on the other side, Coraline. It's bricks. So, now you got your answer. I think there's nothing weirder than a small secret door sealed with brink. X, I'll draw it. See? See, I corrected the typo there, because I know that this is a much more intense adventure. It's gonna take a while to beat. 
We can't be hasty here. So, hey, buddy, I got you this notebook. Dad, here are the drawings, just as we agreed. Good job, Coraline, they're good. Just as we agreed, you can go outside. Thanks, Dad. Just one thing, get back to the house before it gets dark. I don't want any trouble with your mother. No worries, I'll be back early. What? There was an arrow there? Something tells me we're about to live a great adventure. Okay, so, I think I'll give you guys the story of, like, what I tried to do the first time. Because the thing is, I just watched the walkthrough without playing through the game the first time. This second time, I played through about a third of the game before the lag made it impossible. Luckily, no one's hogging up the bandwidth right now, so we should be fine. But I did take, n but I watched the rest of the walkthrough and I took notes on it. So I can actually pull up my notes if I get stumped. But I didn't mark down everything, just the really, um... The really out there stuff. Ha 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 ha. Let me guess, you're from Texas or Utah. Your face looks like you're from there. Do you think it's funny to scare people? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> you can't deny it was kind of funny. You should have seen your face. You're a psychopath. Besides, I'm from Pontiac, Michigan. I don't think you've been there. Hmm, Michigan. Interesting. What's your name? Coraline. Coraline, don't get offended, but there's a theory that claims that having a common name makes people not expect great things from you. Now you're a name analyst. Great. And what's your name? YB. YB? Because of Yborn. My grandma gave me that name. And you're making fun of my name. Ha ha ha, you're pretty weird. Yborn! I think someone's calling you. Er, I didn't hear anything. Wyborn! Definitely, someone's calling you, Wyborn. My grandma, I have to go. Nice meeting you, Caroline from Michigan. The the pleasure's yours indeed, Wyborn. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I was worried. Oh, sh sloopity slop sloop. The, the lag's coming back. Sorry, it's just... I, I'm used to swearing on my own, but since I'm in a video, I can't do that, so I have to censor myself with random nonsense words. Hey, hamster. So, as you can see, we got this massive house. There's a beat here. I'm going to beat someone with it, and we that's all we can do here for now. We could open that door, but we don't really have to yet. Plus, actually, I wonder if we even can. The keyboard seems to open the door. It would be unwise to do so without the permission of the owner. In this case, Mr. Bobinski. Yeah, I, I would have imagined. Yeah, I mean, I knew they wouldn't have let us do that. I just... All right, here we are. Inca Games contest winner, Angie Delgado. Dang, you actually have a pretty easy to pronounce name. Hi. Hello, Caroline. Or was it? No, Coraline. Yeah, she actually said it right. Who are you? How do you know me? And how did you get here? That's a lot of questions. I'm Angie Delgado. I know you because I've read the book and I've also seen the movie. I'm here because I won the contest of Inca Games. Nice to meet you, Angie. What was the contest about? It was a meme contest. Oh yeah, I remember your meme. It said that some fans finished the games by following a walkthrough on YouTube. Yes, exactly. Hopefully with this adventure, the fans will try to solve their puzzles on their own. Yes, it's much more fun when you play without looking at the solution. And what country are you from? Venezuela. Beautiful country and nice people as well. I don't have a joke about Venezuela, go ahead. That's right, Venezuela is beautiful and it's people even more. I'm sure they are. I, I'm also- I'm trying to be culturally conscious here. I don't want to have a slip of the tongue where I randomly insult another country. I'm not Donald Trump. <laughs> anyway, um... So yeah, they're saying that these people who make these walkthroughs, they make it a lot less fun. Okay, so... Got, uh, so, I guess I should say, Screw you, Coraline! This game's an hour long with a walkthrough! I mean, I know, like... Some of my fans have actually said they loved the game, and it took them like seven hours to beat, which is holy crap. 
I don't even know if it would have taken me that long without a walkthrough. I can tell you're a little sad. My hamster is missing. He went away an hour ago and hasn't come back. What color is your hamster? Light brown and white. And what's its name? Bonita. I'll look for it. Thanks, Caroline. I'm not sure how knowing the hamster's name would help you find it. Okay, it's in one of these bushes. Come on. Bushes. Ah, here we are. Found an oak branch. We're going to need that for later. Not right now, but later. Right here, this is nice. Nothing really of interest here, but it's nice nonetheless. Um, this has nothing. Let's go forward. We got ourselves a hatch. The old well, my mom told me about it. She says the neighbors told her it was very deep. Okay, that's important to know, I guess. Okay, so let's go forward. Get this anvil. It's very heavy, I would imagine. Let's get this cow all bulked up. Now she looks much better. Let's get this bench out. And this plate. A few minutes later. Wow, how fast the night fell. I must return home or my mom will get mad. Hey, you're leaving the bench. We're gonna need that for later. Oh, well. Coraline, a board ca I came looking. He missed you, but left a package. Uh, I he told me his name. Waybin, Waybu, I don't remember. Wybe? Yes, that's the boy's name. We're Well, come to the kitchen. We're waiting for you for dinner. Use it. A note of Wybe and a doll that looks like me. This is ki This kid is really weird. Yeah. Hey, Jonesy, look what I found in Grandma's trunk. Look familiar? YB. Coraline, your father cooked a stew of vegetables, especially broccoli. They're very healthy and nutritious. Again, the same. It's not fair, Mom. Can't you cook instead? I promise you that when we finish the catalog, I'll go shopping and cook something delicious. It's impossible for me right now. You think they want to poison me, small Coraline? Well, Coraline, if you don't want to eat, that's your problem. We're going to sleep. Go to your bedroom. It's late. I should go to my room. Okay, so... I know what that means. That's code for leave the house. Go out at this time? I don't think so. It's too late. I, I just wanted to see what would happen if I tried to do that. Upstairs. Go in. Turn out the lights. Be sure to do that. I made that mistake my first time. I'm just like, she's like, it would be impossible to sleep now. I'm like, okay, I gotta look at the walkthrough. Why is that? I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't turn out the lights. I'm an idiot. What's that noise? How strange. A mouse. All right, mouse. Hey, mousy boy. Let's see. The door. The door controls your mind. The door controls your soul. Looks like a tunnel. Where will it take us? Um... Let me think about the possible places. Wonderland! Let's go! It's probably Wonderland. A few minutes later. I'm back again in my living room. It all seems to be the same. The painting looks kind of different, though. I hear someone singing. It comes from the kitchen. I think it's my mom. Do people sing like that? Oh, but... So... We got ripped off. We are not in Wonderland. Uh, to be fair, though, if Tim Burton's any indication, it's a war zone. And Coraline, the movie, was made by Tim Burton. So, if we went to Wonderland, we would just be getting guillotined to death by the Red Queen. So, you know, it's fair. What am I talking about? She doesn't use a guillotine. She just chops people's heads off. Oh, look. 
He's all happy now. He has his ice cream. We're in the past. That kid's now happy. It's weird. Now it just got me thinking, who paints a picture of a kid with who dropped his ice cream? Why'd you take the long way, Coraline? Who are you, me? Hello there. Mom, what are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for dinner, dear. You're not my mother. My other, other does not have but, 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 buttons in the eyes? You like them? Aren't they cute? I'm your other mother, silly girl. The baked chicken is ready. It smells delicious. I'd love to taste it. Sure you will, but first go tell your other father that dinner is ready. He's in his study. I will, in spite of all, it seems kind of strange. Hello? Hi, Coraline! Would you like to hear my new song? Hmm, my dad can't play piano. It's not necessary. This piano plays me. I'm composing a song for Corlon, she's a peach, she's a dog, she's my friend, she's a chuckle. God dang it, why? Why is this text moving so fast? I mean, I would love to sing along, but I can't. The song was very nice, thanks. I can compose uh, you all the songs you want, Coraline. Or, excuse me, but she says dinner's ready. Good, because I was starving. Let's go to the dining room, Coraline. The dining room. This smells delicious. Wait till you try it, honey. Your other mother prepares delicious dishes. Do not overdo the truth, sweetheart. But it's the truth. Hee hee hee. Let's eat. So baked chicken instead of vegetable stew. I'm sorry to say, but my taste buds don't know the difference. Everything was delicious. I'm glad you liked it, honey. <coughs> Here, all dinners are delicious. Always? Always. Wouldn't you just get kind of tired of it, though? What What do you think if we play now? Play? I'm not sure. I think I should get back to my other mother, but I am your other mother. I mean, my other mother, mom number one. I can be mom number one. I think I should go to bed already. Of course, your bedroom is ready for you to rest, darling. My bedroom, but... Of course, we've remodeled it just like you like it. Go and enjoy it. Sleep tight, honey. We'll stay here a little longer talking about a few things. What things? The things we have to discuss about, honey. Don't you remember? Ah, yeah, yeah. The things we have to discuss. I remember now. Well, I guess I'll go to my room. Good night. That's not suspicious at all. No, I mean, I talk like that, so I guess it's not suspicious, but... You know. How beautiful is my other room? That sounded like a question. How beautiful is it? Well, I'm gonna have to call up some people from HGTV. Hey Siri, get me HGTV. Oh, that's right, I don't have Siri turned on on my phone because Siri's an idiot. Hey, what's this thing? Ah, can't examine it. All right, let's go to bed. <clears throat> a while later. It was a real dream and very cute too. I can still feel the taste of the tasty chicken. It was a real dream, although not quite in the way you were probably saying. As in you were probably saying, oh, that was a real good dream. Me, I'm saying it was literally real. Hello. Good morning, mom. Good morning, Coraline. It's kind of nice. I sort of have the layout of this area memorized just because <clears throat> both from playing it last night 
and from um you know me trying to do it uh last year i had an amazing dream amazing dream tell me about it it was so real i dreamed that i was in a house like this one but prettier and my mom wasn't you but my other mother and she had buttons in her eyes and she was baking a roast chicken I'm glad you asked roast trick and at least in your dreams. Dad was also there. Oddly, he could play the piano and wrote me a song. Coraline, I'm busy now. Why don't you visit our neighbors Spink and Forcible? They're, they're retired actresses. I'm sure they'll be glad to hear about your dream. Hmm, at least I can go out. Okay, if you don't, don't want to hear my great story. Now, believe it or not, we cannot actually go directly to them because they have uh, some guard dogs that are going to, you know, assault us and stuff if we try to get in. So, we can always explore it somewhere else. Coraline, did your mother give you permission to go out? Yes. In that case, you can go out. <coughs> so, I say we go mess with the guy who's up top here. Hi, kid. Hello, Mr. Mr. You should have read signs. Sergei Alexander Bobinski, but you can call me Senor Bobinski. What's your name? Coraline. Caroline. What a nice name. Okay, let's see. My mom thinks you're crazy. Ha ha ha. A lot of people think that because I run a mice circus. I might look a little weird, but crazy? Never. Now that I'm think talking to you, you don't. I don't think you're crazy at all. Thanks for that, Coraline. This is your idea of a crazy person in your neighborhood? You've never- Coraline! Good dear- Good girl, Caroline. This is your idea of a crazy person in your neighborhood? I mean... Uh, okay, if you say so, it's just- You've never been where I live. Let's see. My name's Coraline. I know, you already told me, Caroline. My memory's not that bad. I give up. I, at first, I didn't get what was going on there. I thought the Caroline thing was a typo, just because, you know, knowing Inca games. But anyway, are you an acrobat? That's right. I worked many years as an acrobat in a prestigious circus, but now I run a circus of jumping mice. Wow, a circus of jumping mice? That sounds cool. Can I see the mice? No, Caroline. The mice are not ready. Besides, the, the act we are rehearsing is top secret. When the mice are ready, you can come see them, but not before. And why don't you go see if they're ready now? I don't think they're ready. Besides, I can't get into my house. Why? I installed a security system on my door, but I forgot the code. The only thing I remember is that I was standing in the backyard of your house near the garden looking at the landscape when I came up with the code. But I can't remember it. I've been trying to remember it, but I can't. How could can I forget it? I understand. Okay, so... I bet you're wondering how we open that. Well, basically, with each tree represents a digit in the code. And what the digit is, is how many pink leaves there are. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... So, 8, 9, 1... Six two eight nine one six two what eight nine one six two what eight one nine six okay so uh yeah crap maybe I can guess the code of the security system guess the code I suppose you could try Coraline I don't remember it anyway maybe you're lucky okay okay so eight nine one six two by the way, I wasn't doing that to be a spaz. It's just the easiest way for me to remember it. You're the best, Caroline. That's what I call being lucky. You've done me a big favor. What was the code? 89162. What? Exactly. How could I forget? Wait, I'm... Well, I'm not going in anyway. I'm waiting for something I ordered some time ago. I hope it arrives today. Yes, it should arrive today. Hey, I see. Have a nice day. Thanks, Caroline. Oh, looks like the thing's here already. Hi. Hello, kid. Have you got a mail or package? That's right, sir. I got a package for Mr. Sergei Alexander Babinski. He lives upstairs in the second floor. I know. And why don't you come up? I believe it's easier to wait for him to come down. I can deliver the package if you wish. 
Very clever, kid. First, you have to give me the tip, and I'll give you the package. I understand. Give me the package for Mr. Babinski. Here you go, the tip. Just one dollar? It's either that or nothing. Okay, here's the package. Thanks. You're... Well, child, I'm going because I have to deliver more packages. Have a nice day. You couldn't have just gone up the stairs? Seriously, you're worse than the Brooklyn guy. <coughs> I think this package is for you. My parcel! It's arrived! Or, sorry, my parcel! It's arrived! What's in the package? A cheese of very good quality and smell for my mice. They needed it. I'm sure this will make them jump better and higher. They will be more amazing. Yeah, to tell you the truth, it smells a lot. I'll come inside to fed them the cheese. I cannot wait to see them jump better. Thanks, Caroline. Mr. Babinski is not as crazy as my mother believes. Yeah, I mean, the dude actually has a passion, something he's working on. Caroline, Caroline, are you there? It seems Mr. Babinski's calling me. Crap, I... Caroline, I have something important to tell you. Did you call me Mr. Babinski? Yes, Caroline. The mice, they want to send you a message. The mice? Yes, they said, don't go into the secret door. Do you know what they mean? The little door that's in my living room? I don't understand. It's blocked with bricks. I can only enter in my dreams. I'm sorry, I get. I'm sorry, I guess it means nothing. Sometimes the mice get confused and make up things. They even misspelled your name. They called you Coraline instead of Caroline. Don't worry, it's not that important. Well, since you are here, I want to ask you a fair. <sighs> Could you take care of my house? I have go I have to go check us some businesses and I'll be gone for a couple of hours. I don't want to lock the door because I'm sure I forgot the code again. What do you say? Will you take care of it? Uh, sure, I'll keep an eye on it. Thanks, Caroline. See you. Dang, this guy's really trusting of some random kid in his neighborhood. Then again, Coraline seems like a good kid. She wouldn't, you know, rob his place or anything. Ah. Uh. Yo, chicken! Chick, chick, chicken! Cats cannot resist a plate of milk. Okay, this is actually a weird story involving how my memory is a walking contradiction. Okay, so last time I did this walkthrough, I remember making jokes about this black cat being Mr. Midnight from Franbo. But the thing is, I never actually played Franbo, and the only reason I learned much about it, well, at least when I started it anyway, was um when I saw Random Encounters Musical. And I'm pretty sure that came out this January, because I specifically re remember the sort of dark, depressed tone coinciding with my frustrations on editing Top 10 Games of 2015. So, oh, and by the way, I never played Frambo, because, like, I looked a bit into uh, Markiplier's playthrough, and I'm just like, okay, no, no, I can't do this, nope, too much, nope, nope, but anyway, it just shows how my memory makes no sense. By the way, there's a smiley face on this log. I bet it's a frowny face in the alternate world. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot. Um, we can get the hamster now. So, we get this elastic band, put it around the twig to make a nice good slingshot. Now, small umbrella, and let's go! I'm sure she's Bonita. Yes, you found Bonita. I'm so happy. I'm glad you're happy now. How could I ever thank you? An object you can give me will be well received. Sure, I've got a ladder. I hope they come in handy. Good, we need that. I'm sure they will. Thanks a lot, Angie. A pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine, Coraline. Good luck. 
Good luck, Angie Delgado. We will meet again. <laughs> no, seriously, we will. Uh, you'll know when. Just not right this second. Hey, give me my bench back, cow. Dog. Dog. I'm a friggin' rapper. Dog. I'm just being stupid right now. Huh. Oh, crap, crap, I got assaulted by dogs. The whole reason I didn't come in here. Your neighbor's dogs are very aggressive. Maybe there's a way to reassure him. Let's see. A somniferous. Okay, so they still use the word somniferous. So, sausages with somniferous. Not somniferous sausages, because that would actually make sense. Because somniferous is an adjective, not a noun. Go forward. Nice to see you, Caroline. Come in, we're playing cards. I'm Coraline, Mrs. Spink. Whatever. Come in, darling. Make yourself at home. Okay, so... How you like a cup of tea, Jazz... How, a cup of jasmine tea, darling? Go ahead. The way I can read your future. My future? I don't understand. I have a cup of tea, but... i leave a little so I can read it. Hmm, okay. There's the detail. I can't read the cup without my fortune teller hat. And where is it? I lost it. For me to read your luck, you must bring it back. I understand. I don't get why it was a guess hat. Well, I guess that makes sense. Uh, what doesn't make sense is why it was in Mr. Babinski's house. Did he steal it from you, or were you just over there, um, doing stuff? Oh, Caroline! What's wrong? Caroline, Caroline, Caroline! <clears throat> You're in great danger! What do you see? I see a very particular, peculiar hand, a claverick hand. It doesn't look human. You're in great danger. Stop it, April. You're scaring the kid. My readings are accurate. Well, what do I do then? Simple. Never dress in green in your locker room. Before any show, get a really tall ladder. And before performing any stunt in the theater, you have to be careful. Er, thanks for the tips. I'll keep them in mind. You're welcome, Caroline. Caroline, I give you the opportunity. I give you one of the stuffed dogs. It fell from the shelf. And in the table, there's a card. An ace of spades. Take it. It can bring you luck. What is that thing? I don't know. Okay. Now this is where I stopped because, holy crap, that was... Caroline, thanks for accommodate our little angel for being such a good girl. I'll give you a brush. You may find it useful. Dang, you guys are just handing out random miners like candy. Also, I see the painting has moved. I didn't know there was a hidden safe here. I'm sure the combination to open it's in this very room. Yeah, it's those dogs. So, I think you want to do the direction that their golden wings are in. Okay, so... By the way, this is where I stopped, because the lag made this part unplayable. It's fine now, which is good. Yes! First try! What? You managed to open the safe, Caroline. You're pretty smart. What was in it? A camera. A Polaroid, to be surprised. That's odd. Why would someone unkeep a Polaroid in a safe? I find that mysterious. Keep the camera, Caroline. At least it'll be a nice souvenir. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I guess this year... Yes. It's Jasper's! I'm gonna... Yeah, I've read Homestuck. Well, not fully read it. I'm in the middle of reading it. So I just made a Homestuck reference there. I take a picture of Jasper's. He... Except Jasper's is dead. And wears a suit. And... Screw it! My obscure references make no sense! Hey, birdie, birdie, birdie! Take a look at this picture of a cat! Good, give me that egg. I'm in the good egg galaxy now. Oh, hey, YB, what you doing? What's that mask, anyway? Hi, YB. Hello, Caroline. What are you doing? We're hunting plantain worms. 
What do you mean my we? Ha! Huh, your cat is not a wild cat. It's a conceited cat. A conceit that you mean it's arrogant? What? He looks. He likes to cuddle. It's pretty normal in cats. He's still a conceited cat. Anyway, I wanted to tell you something. Go ahead. The doll you sent me, it looked exactly like me. Did you set her up like that? No, I found that. It's older than my grandme. Maybe than in this house. Come on, it's identical to me. It's a lot of coincidence. That's exactly what I said. You know, I've never entered into the pink palace. You've never entered into this house? I don't believe you. Really? The gr Emma would kill me. She says it's dangerous or something like that. Dangerous? She had a little sister. And? When they were kids, her sister disappeared. She says she got kidnapped. Kidnapped? What do you think? Maybe, I don't know, maybe she just ran away. Why, boy? It's Grandma. I think she can read my mind. I have to go. Wait, I have a lot of questions yet. I'm sorry. You don't know my grandma. Or me. Or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> night time. It's night time. Better go inside the house. Okay, so. We ate through day two. You're finally here, Coraline. We were worried for a moment. Let's have dinner. Good, I like me some dinner. <coughs> Forty minutes later. Well, Coraline, we're going to bed. You should also go to sleep. See you tomorrow. I'm not going to try to escape this time. I will never let you leave. Somebody call the police. Yeah, you know, I thought I kind of meant to bring it up. Uh, Bart, ba the movie Bart Baker's in it. Looks kind of interesting. I think most of it's just because of um his character Mike Swag. I, I thought that was funny. Maybe it, the mouse is not coming. Maybe we should lure him over here. Cause like Mike Swag, it just looks like Bart Baker doing his Justin Bieber impression for the entire movie. So let's get this cheese. Lure the mouse out here. Come on, mouse, mousey, mouse, whatever. <laughs> Go to sleep now. Go to sleep. I think my plan worked. You know, would you really need the mouse here? The mouse, he's back. Is the mouse like a condition to head to the secret door? I mean, I guess that would, actually it would be weird. It wouldn't really make much sense. All right, I'm ready for another round. Swag! A few minutes later, here we are back in good old Brightville. Welcome back, dear. Hello. Can you go find your father? This time he must be hungry as a pumpkin? What kind of saying is that? Oh, you mean my other father. Your better father, dear. He's outside in the garden. Okay. Hey, they won't let me escape. What what gives? I can't get out of here. You've trapped me. How do I get out? Oh, this door's open. Okay. So anyway, Oh, guess who's over here? Yeah, that's right. In a game this big, the contest winner gets to double dip. Hi, you must be Other Angie. Hi, Coraline. Yes, I'm the Other Angie. I see you're a little sad. It's just that my other hamster is gone for like an hour now and hasn't come back. I've heard that one before somewhere. Don't worry, I've got experience finding missing hamsters. I'll help you. Don't you want to know its name? Let me guess. Bonita? Or is it other Bonita? Yes, how did you know? Female intuition. I'll be right back. Thanks, Coraline. Female intuition. That is interesting. 
The door's closed. Okay, so Babinski. So I guess this is the purple house now instead of the pink house. Oh, that's right. We were going out to the garden. Bruh. What's going on? Bruh. Jo 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 Hi there, Dad. Hi, Coraline. I love your robot mantis. I'm glad you like it, Coraline. How fast can it go? It can reach up to 50 kilometers per hour. I don't know what that is in miles per hour. Cool! That would be disrespectful. My other mom says it's time to eat. Okay, we'll go to eat, but I want to show you something. Hop on the mantis. I would to ask why he's always wearing a nightgown. All right, whatever. Let's get on. Let's see what's going on. Oh, man, it can fly. That was incredible. Amazing. The garden has the form of my face. Your other mother said you'd like it. Yeah, your face, if you were in Stick It to the Man. Thank you very much. You have nothing to thank me for. Well, Coraline, I'll see you at dinner. 40 minutes later. Dinner was delicious. I love our dinner, breakfast, lunch. You always enjoy delicious dinners with us, Coraline, or you will. Always. Coraline, Mr. Babinski invited you to go lo to look at his jumping mice circus now. A show for me? Yes, darling, your father and I will clean the ro the dining room while you and your friend go to the second floor. My friend? Cool. Hi, other YB. Hi, other YB. Hello? I thought you'd like him better as a small talker, so I fixed him. So he can't talk at all? Nope. I like that. You're sadistic. Well, go have fun. So we're going to the Jumping Mice show. Let's go. Oh, hey, Mouse. Hello, I'd like to enter the tent. And to let you in, you must bring the two objects necessary and indispensable to enjoy the Jumping Mice show. Show me the two objects. I understand. Well, I know one of the indispensable objects is popcorn, so we'll have this chicken guy, um... Nope, nope, I'm not giving up. Not, not just yet. Not just yet. I have to think outside the box. Inside the box. Uh, beside the box. And everywhere I can, that involves the box. Never mind, I can't do anything right now. Shut up. My dog's acting up, so I just gotta, uh... I didn't take any notes on this part of the game, which is a decision I'm beginning to regret. An old man. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, kid. Nice cane, can I borrow it? I'm sorry, kid, but this cane keeps me the balance. I see. Well, thanks anyway. A bench. This bench is very small. It'll not be comfortable. Just an apple tree? Okay. Well, at least we know where Benita is now. So, which way do we go? What happens if I cross the line? The ticket controller has a bad temper, especially if you want to enter without a ticket. Okay. 
So that's um Let's go in. Um here. God dang it, there's gotta be something I can click on. The doll, the egg in the launcher no. Wow, this is um actually can I put the sugar in these cannons to make cotton candy? No. Hello, I'd like to enter the tent. To enter, you must bring the two objects necessary and indispensable to enjoy the jumping mice show. Show me those two objects and I'll let you go. Understand. Okay. I am currently looking for those items. That is exactly what I am doing. I am not looking up a walkthrough on YouTube on my phone right now so I can quickly see how to get them. Because that, that would be all kinds of dishonorable and bad and deplorable stupid ad you know I, I'm totally not doing that right now here I'll move around while this ads totally not playing to demonstrate how much I'm not cheating right now okay I okay, see see I know what I'm doing I'm not stupid or at least I'm not that stupid I might be a little bit stupid but you know I'm not overly stupid I'm only mildly stupid okay so According to this not walkthrough that I'm watching, I needed to put a battery down there. I don't know why, but apparently I did. And there's also cotton candy involved. Let me see how to uh, not get that cotton candy, because I'm not a cheater. Let's put a battery here. Ah uh, yes, this activates it quite nicely. Okay, now I need to uh, not fast forward the not walkthrough to get to the part where I get to the not cotton candy and Okay, these are kind of double negatives right here Huh Ah, uh, yes Yes, okay. It all makes perfect sense now Okay I don't think so. My other parents are there. They told me to go see Mr. Bowinski's show. I think I should do that first. Okay, but go in here. You'll see that there's this nice little pedal. Okay. Now we go up and, um... Good idea, but I need to do something else. Oh, what could go in there? Sugar, obviously. Whoopee! Combine the cotton candy and popcorn to get cotton candy corn. Hello, I'd like to enter the tent. I see you have a popcorn and cotton candy. You can pass and enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, to, to enjoy your eyes and ears and make your hearts resonate, I, Sergei Alexander Bobinski, present my amazing, wonderful, astonishing eggplant jumping my circus. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Ten out of ten would watch again. Yahoo! It was great. Many thanks, ladies and gentlemen. We loved it, Mr. B. That was so, so, so... I incredible I'm very happy you liked it Coraline you're welcome every night if you want you and also your good friend too here you can always see my shows I'll prepare for you well Coraline it's time to go home it's late your parents must be waiting which parents are we talking about huh the show is amazing the mice are really incredible Mr. B Bobinski is a genius I loved it I'm glad to hear that, Coraline. Mr. Bobinski will be delighted to perform for you any time you want. Cool! 
Well, honey, you must be tired. Go to sleep now. A while later. Oh, yeah, get out of bed. The other world is incredible. I want to go back again. How strange. I can't find the key. I had it in my pocket. A while later. I could not find the key anywhere. I'm sure my mom hid it. Hey, give me that key or else I'll kill you. What's for breakfast, Mom? Now that you mention it, there's almost no food in the fridge. I have to go grocery shopping. I'll be back in a couple hours. So, see you, honey. I won't be out long. If you want, you can go play outside. I heard you want to go buy some things. I also need to buy something, so I'll go with you. Great, that way we can discuss the details of the catalog on the way. We won't take long. Behave yourself, Coraline. Maybe I will be out for long. Alright, let's see the drawer. It's not the key to the secret door, but I found this other key. It looks familiar to me. I know where I know where we're going. Now I can go to my parents' bedroom, okay? All right, so let's let this caterpillar out. It's too high. Yeah, it's right. Caterpillars don't speak. Come on, Coraline. You've seen a bunch of stuff that doesn't happen. Do weird Russian guys have jumping mice circuses? Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's throw an egg at the window. No. Bench? Ah, uh, yes. The bench. Now, I don't actually know why we need to let that caterpillar out. Now the caterpillar's free. No. Nope. Okay, so it looks like we can't take the bench with us. Luckily, we don't need it. You know, when I was watching the walkthrough, I couldn't see how you're supposed to figure this out, but I noticed there's a little code there. So, uh, right, 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 left, uh, right, 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 left, 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 left. Okay. I guess so. All right, safe cracking time. Right, right, right. I, right, 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 left, 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 left. There we go, key. <coughs> we got the key back. Let's take a short break to see a message from our sponsors. Oh my god. This adventure is so long they actually have an advertisement in the middle of it. Okay, Madden. Now, I guess I'll stick an advertisement right here. There we go. You just saw an ad. Assuming I remember to include it. I probably included a bunch of ads in this video because of how long it is. Because, you see, when it comes to my long videos, I like to put a lot of ads in. Like, I typically don't do it for the Inky Games videos, because those are just, those are long, but they're easy to make, so it kind of feels like cheating. But this, this isn't easy to make, so, you know. You know, I say it's fair, so we're about, like, halfway through. Let's go. Key to the secret door. Yeah, so, by the way. Like, what I was saying earlier, this is probably going to be, well, obviously, you can tell. This is probably going to be the longest video on my channel, and, and the longest video I'll have on my channel for quite a long time. Again, in the our other house, where everything is more fun and more beautiful. Well, I will say, for the most part, I actually have been pretty efficient with this game, so, you know, there's that. Cupcakes. And pizza? 
Dear Coraline, Miss Spink and Miss Forcible invite you down after your meal. They have prepared a theater act in your honor. Do not miss it. When you finish, P.S. When you finish your meal, the front door will be open so you can leave. Your friend will be in the theater too. Well, let's see what our other mother prepared for us. It looks delicious. Pizza, something, and cupcakes. Dinner was delicious. I happily kept this cupcake after. Now let's speak to the spectacle of Miss Forcible and Spink and... Those people. Crap, it's the cat again! Wybie is a cat just like you at home. I don't mean the other Wybie from this world, the one who doesn't talk, but the Wybie from my world, who by the way talks a lot and is pretty weird. You must be that other cat. No, I'm not the other cat. I'm the me. I can see you have no buttons for eyes, but if you're the same cat, how can you talk? I just can? Household cats don't talk. Really? No? Well, you're clearly an expert in these sorts of things. After all, I'm just a conceited cat. Come back, please! I'm sorry I said that! Sorry I offended your delicate sensibilities, cat. How did you get here? I've been coming here for a while now. It's a game. A game? She hates cats and tries to send at me away, but she can't. I can come and go whenever I want. Does that mean, does the other mother hates cats? I think so, she's amazing. You must believe this world is a dream come true, but you'd be wrong. The other YB told me. Makes no sense, the other YB can't talk. Maybe not with you, but the senses of cats are superior to the senses of humans. We feel and smell. Wait, I hear something around here. Okay, whatever you say, bro. Anyway, let's get that hamster. Let's lure it out with the sweet, delicious scent of a cupcake. There, the deliciosity was irresistible. Alright, button eyed hamster. Seriously, it looked enough like a plush toy without the button eyes. Now look at it with them. Oh, look, the branch still smiles. That's good. The another hamster. It's other hamster. I'm sure she's Bonita. Yes, you found Benita. What a joy. I'm glad you're happy now. How could I ever thank you? An object you can give me will be well received. Of course, I've got a ticket for Mrs. Pink and Forcible's show. Their show's very good. You should see it. Sure, thank you very much, Angie. Nice to meet you. The pleasure was mine, Coraline. Good luck. In we go, check the ticket at the Dow door, whatever. The curtain open, I love shows. I've noticed the siren of the seven seas, the hearthrob bay. If you go swimming with bandy women, maybe they'll steal your weak heart. A sea witch with a big tail can nod waves and with ish sail the sailors to get lost. But a true ocean goddess must fill her bra to be tempting to be really tempting. Beware of oysters too large in the chest. Let's forbid them in the buffet. I am more nutritious. You smell like fish. Did I hear a spoiled oyster? She's just envious. The Mermaid Enchantress. No, I'm the goddess Venus. The sea men will banish. The sea men will banish all day long. Well, that, that was certainly something. The show was good, but apparently something went wrong. Just a moment, there's something up there. Oh my god. So they're really thin people the whole time? That was unexpected. Oh, 
Oh, whoops. You, you need something that dimmed the fall a little. Dim it? I think you mean, uh, break the fall. That's what you mean. I was worried I wouldn't be able to remember how to do this, but, you know. But, no, this is pretty easy. I mean, you have to be stupid not to figure out this puzzle. A few minutes later. I love the show. It was spectacular. I'm glad you liked it, Coraline. If you stay to live here, we'll do all the shows you want. All the shows I want? Exactly. We'll show you how to do stunts. Wow, that sounds great. Thanks for everything. It's late. I must return. See you soon, Caroline. Now we have to return home. My other parents must be waiting for me. Maybe it's just me, but I think this music actually reminds me a lot of a Bowser's Inside Story. Did you like the show? Was it fantastic? Yes, it was impressive. I flew around in the air. Spink and Forcible weren't elders at all. It was just a costume. It was great. Magical. Let's go home. I've got something for you. Good night, YB. Coraline, do you like being here? Sure, delicious meals, surprises, and shows. I love it. You could stay here forever if you'd like. Really? I'd li like to. Everything's pretty. How can I stay here? We just have to do a little adjustment. Something simple. Which is... A little surprise for you. Ooh, you are, you are a little doll. Black is traditional, but if you prefer another color, just tell us. Want me to sew buttons on my eyes? Of course, so you look as good as us. No way. But you have to agree if you want to stay, honey. It's getting late. Let's have this conversation in the morning. I'm not hungry anymore. I'm tired. Very tired. I'm going to bed right now. As you wish, honey. We know you will agree to what we told you. Come on. I'll tuck you in. No thanks. I've done enough already. I'll go on my own. Good night. They want me to sew buttons for my eyes? They're crazy. We we have to sleep to return to the normal world and never come back here again. If only my friends were here to help. Hey, mate, where are your buttons? You want to stay, right? Stick around and I'll hug you every time you want. All these toys are just robots with the same instructions. Like, this is the thing. This is actually kind of new to me, because I've never made it this far in the game. And while I have, um, seen the walkthrough, go back and let the, I'm so mute, buttons in the eyes. No way, I'd rather sleep and return to my real home. Because here's the thing. I've never made it to this point. And the walkthrough didn't have audio. I'm still in another world. I can't be. The sleep didn't work. The only way I can think of is going through the same tunnel. Yeah, because, like, the other walkthrough, the walkthrough didn't have sound. And I'd never made this far in the actual game before. So I didn't realize how creepy they made the music at this point. It makes sense. It's locked. Oh. You look creepy. How's it going? Hey, you! Where's the other mother? I want to go home now. Everything will be fine. When mother freshens up, her strength is ours. We shouldn't talk when your mother's not around. If you don't want to talk, I'll find other YB. He'll help me. I don't think so. YB's been warned by mother. If he doesn't obey, bad things will happen. Let's look for the a cat. I'm sure it'll help me more than this imitation of a father. Well, at least we know where he is. Let's get out of here. Quickly. This is getting really creepy. Like, really creepy. Okay. Creepity creep creep creepers. This is creepy. It's not creepy. Yes, it is. 
What are you doing? I'm out of here. That's what I'm doing. This way is impossible. Let me show you. Follow me. Crap, it's World 6-1 all over again. There's nothing. Of course there's nothing. This is the empty part of the world. She only built what she knew would impress you. Why? What does she want me? She wants something to love. Something that's not her. Or maybe she wants something to eat. Eat? That's ridiculous. Mothers don't eat their children. I wouldn't know. How good do you taste? Follow me so you can see how our little ride ends. Holy crap. What? How can you get away from something and go back to the same place? Small world. We've turned around this ver world very small, by the way. And fake as well. Crap, it's the mouse. Wait, he wait here, Coraline. What have you done? It's a little circus mouse. I don't like rats, and this one was rat adding us by sounding the alarm. That's a good cat. Oh yeah, these. Oh, where is the place to use the glasses? Huh? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, kid. Nice cane. Can I borrow it? I'm sorry, kid. This cane keeps my balance. I see. Well, thanks anyway. Ah! The chair! Perfect! Okay. Now I'm up to speed on what I do. Oh, what? To defeat the evil tree, you must find his weakness. Oh man, that is... That is bad. Evil trees are bad. Um, so yeah, evil trees are bad. Here, let me pick up that chair again to distract from the fact that I'm looking at a walkthrough right now. To defeat the evil tree, you must find his weakness. And also buy paint from Home Depot, apparently. Gotta find a sol- But I think I have discovered solution. A device to take away all of the pain and confusion. Oh wait, I'm not sure if what's there is what I see. I just feel like this eyeball is watching me. Take a breather there, but just take a major time. Yeah, I'm singing this! Because I'm stalling for time. I'm filibustering. Because I want to do this all in one take. Because I am Defawfalizer, the greatest Inca Games walkthrough player of all time. And I will not let Inca Games beat me. Hear me, Inca Games. You haven't won yet. And you never will. Actually, do I have something in my notes about this? Let's see. Let's see. Well, huh. That is bad, but Inca Games, you will not beat me, okay? You have not- you may have had other opponents, but you've never faced off against the great, almighty, Defawfalizer. Hear me, Inca Games, you can't beat me! I'm a genius! I am the smartest and most- awesomest youtuber of all times of all the times and oh now i see yes what you failed to account for inca games is the fact that i could sling a shot a stone at this tree and it'll die and it's clearly you who failed to account for that and not me because I am way smarter and better at this game than the people who made it. Clearly. Which is why I've bided my time. Have a seat, mister. You'll be more comfortable sitting than standing. Thanks, kid. This is much better. I told you. Yes, 
You see, I bid my time and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited a year for, to finally beat this game. It'll be the main event, the month of amazingness. And soon you would see, you would all see. They say even the proudest, proudest spirit can be bent with love. I want to go with my real parents. I want you to let me go. Is that the way to talk to your mother? You are not my mother. Apologize immediately. No. Now you'll see what happens to spoiled little girls. Wow. You'll stay in there until you learn to respect your mother. Oh my god, the music got even creepier. That witch should go to a psychiatrist. She's very sick in the head. Let me be honest, I think the creepiest music in an Inca Games puzzle adventure is, at least out of the ones I've played, is in Obama in the Dark. That, that doll frightens us. It's a spy for the witch. I don't think so. They're ghost children. Hi. Hi. Are you ghosts? We're semi-transparent, tetric, and we float. I think the answer is more than obvious lately. Yeah, I suppose that. How can I escape from here? It's practically impossible to escape from this cell. We've tried everything. I'm afraid we're stuck here forever. We'll see about that. Who are you? We can't remember our names, but we do know our real mothers. The witch spied on us through the eyes of the doll and saw we weren't happy. She lured us here with candy and games. She gave us everything we asked for, but we wanted more, so we let her sew the buttons. She said she cared for us, but she locked us up in here and ate our lives. She also took away your eyes? Yes, and she hid them. Well, she's not taking my eyes, I'll escape. Maybe if you can escape, you could find our eyes. Find our eyes and you'll free our souls. I promise I'll try. She lured us here. Although, oh, to fulfill the promise, first I have to get out of here. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'll make it. Yep, now we're playing as YB. And luckily, there's something we can do here. See this blue paint? This blue paint's very useful. Basically, let's take a brush into the blue paint. Now let's paint this blue egg. Well, it was an it was a regular egg before. Now it's a blue egg. And uh, up, untie this. Put the blue egg here. Now go down. Okay, oops There's something huh. Get up untie this rope I can't get in truly preposterous indeed and suspicious and those other words that mean similar things yes indubitably quite indeed good sir a uh, pop 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 ah yes indeed you see the spirits are giving me information okay yeah guys I'm a spirit medium I never told you that but I totally am so you know, you're welcome. Anyway, I'm using my spiritual powers to help you do stuff. Or help me do stuff, actually. Well, technically help you do stuff, too, because this is a walkthrough, after all. What is this? A key! Yes. And what do keys do? They open doors! Which is what I'm doing and going through. Ah, she's not here. 
Very suspicious indeed. Who is upstairs? Nobody, because Coraline's dead. Well, not dead, but she's in this mirror, and I'm using this rope to get her out. Someone threw a rope from the other side. It's a trap, Coraline. Don't take it, even though I'm forcing you to, and I already know who it is, and it's not a trap. Thank you. Thanks for coming, YB. You rock. You want to follow you? Okay. Coraline, honey, is that you? The witch will come, YB. Let's go. She'll hurt you again. You don't want to come with me? Okay, but be careful. A few minutes later. Good, we escaped. <coughs> I will not return to another world ever again. Hi, I'm home. All right. Anyone here? True mother? True father? How strange. I'll look for my parents. We're not your true parents, Coraline. You are adopted this whole time. <laughs> I'm kidding. Parents are not home. I searched everywhere for them, and they're not here. How strange. I'm worried about them. Maybe they went out. Someone's at the door. I bet it's my parents. Or it's Wyborn. Hi, Wybie. Hi, Coraline. What's up? Hi, er, er, you remember the doll I gave you? Yep. My grandma got pissed about it. She said it was her sister's, remember? The one who went missing? You stole the doll? Well, it's just that it looks a lot like you, and I thought... The sister of your grandma. Wait a minute. I think I've met her. What are you talking about? She's in the other world, but she can't escape without her eyes. Well, no ghost can. Are you feeling okay, Coraline? <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Look, I really need the doll. I think I forgot it in the ghost's room. Maybe it's better that you leave it there. That ghost is her spy. The doll is my grandma's spy? No, not... It's not... Other, it's the other grandma spy, the witch. The witch? Yes, ask your cat if you want. The cat, yeah, right. You know, I'll have to go. I'll tell my grandma you couldn't find the doll. You think I'm crazy? Well, yeah, I think it might be contagious. Get out of my sight before I lose my temper, you incredulous kid. I think you've lost a screw in the head, at least. Okay. So anyway, let's get on looking for the parents. Okay, so... Search party. Okay, there's a search party right here. Or the party where we search for people. Okay, so... Boop a doop a doop a doop ring 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 banana phone boop boop a doop a doop ding dong ding dong ding dong ding donana phone It's very heavy That's surprising Huh that is very surprising indeed this certainly is a puzzling pickle, pickling puzzle, and poopling popple. All those things combined make for a very unpleasant experience of death and destruction. Well, probably. Um, but luckily, I am a genius, and I've used my um, gamer's intuition. Yes, my gamer's intuition, something I clearly didn't just make up. To find out that you're supposed to talk to these people. Ah, uh, hi! Hello, honey. Hello, honey. What brings you here? <clears throat> My parents are missing. Have you seen them? Your parents are missing? Maybe they went shopping. Maybe, but they've never taken so long. I think we'll have to give her the special object, Miriam. I think you're right, April. She needs it more than us. What special object? Come closer. A triangular stone with a hole? What's so special about it? The stone is good with bad things. No, the stone is good with missing things. Bad things. Missing things, bad things, missing things, bad, missing. 
Er, I'll leave you ladies alone. See, greetings to your parents, if you find them, of course. Okay? Right, let's use that stone to, um, get stoned, right? You know, get high up in here. You know, we're, we're really stoned with this stone. A stone... Stoning... Stonington... Stone boy, Stonington. Huh. Unfortunately, I don't have all the answers in the world to um Stone boy, Stonington's ethical dilemmas, but this cat does. So, hey, cat, how do I get high? Hi. My parents are missing. Wait a minute. Uh, don't tell me you know where my parents are. All right, let's follow him. You want me to see the mirror? Okay, you wouldn't look at it when I told you, but when some random cat does, that's perfectly fine. Now they look a bit cold. How's it possible? The other mother, the witch? They're trapped in the other world, it's my fault. There's only one thing to do, return to rescue my parents. Okay. I'll leave the key here for safety. If we come running in, it'll be easier to grab from the floor than look for it in my pocket. Smart move there. A few minutes later. You know, it's a trap from the witch, right? I have no choice. They're my parents. Challenge her. She's tricky, but she loves challenges. She won't resist. She's addicted to games. Thanks for the information. Coraline, it's you, honey. Don't forget what I told you. Oh my god. Is every Inca Games villain obsessed with games? Coraline, what a surprise. Why did you run from me? Where are my parents? Pigsaw has them! Honey, I haven't got the slightest idea where your old parents are. Maybe that got bored of you and fled to France. No, they didn't. You stole them from me. Don't be so boneheaded. How? Now I will make sure you can't go back to your old home. Ratonico, bring me the key. Why don't you have your own key? There is only one key. Dear, er, please, don't open your mouth if you want to keep it. Come with me. I think you need to see something. I wonder where the witch hid, hid my real parents. Uh. That is a good question. Let my parents go and I'll promise I'll visit you every February 30th. Ah, the old Inca Games trick. Do you really think I'm a fool? <laughs> I was kidding. Why don't we play a game? I know you like them. Everyone likes games. What kind of games? Monopoly. That's boring. Maybe something more challenging. Chess. That's boring. Maybe something... Chess is challenging! A finding game. You have to find things. And what would you be looking for? My real parents? Too easy! And the eyes of the ghosts? And if you don't, don't find them, what then? If I lose, I'll stay here forever. And you can sew me buttons for eyes. And if you win the game, you'll let me go. You'll let my parents go. The children, everyone you trapped. Sounds fair, do. I'll agree, as long as you give me a hint. Okay. In each of the three wonders I prepared for you, the eyes of the ghost lays in plain sight. A clue for my- and a clue for my parents? Good luck, darling. That's not really a hint now, is it? But whatevs. But I know I am horrifyingly unprepared for this, so I must consult the spirits once again. 
Hamana mana mana mana. Uh, um, Iman skilia habakala donut. Iman skilia habakala donut. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm literally quoting Onage pranks now. But whatever, I'm close to the end. There's nothing that can stop me now. Unless, you know, the internet. There's a power outage and I lose connection to the internet. But that won't happen because. Oh my god. There's no reason that wouldn't happen. Well, I mean, nothing that could guarantee it not happening. Is it? I mean, at least. So. I am indeed in deep danger of darkity dupe. Dupeness. My god. This person's evil. The spirits are being coy with me. They did not show me how to get the item that I need. But I suppose I'll make, have to make do with what I have. Poor YB. The witch will pay for this. The door's closed. Huh. What did she even do to him? There's something evil. Hold on. I have notes. Huh. Well, this is awkward. Ah ha 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 ha! Nothing here. Okay, that guy looks happy, but oh wait, that's I got you, Coraline. The other mother gave me orders to catch you if I saw you. The witch's soldiers are very easy to see. Maybe you can use that information. Well, the spirits left this part out, but luckily I'm smart enough that I don't need their help. What? I got you, Coraline. The other mother gave me orders to catch you if I saw you. Maybe we could sell this some other way? Explain yourself. Maybe if I can give you a Valium item, you return in silence? Are you trying to bribe me? Well, yes. You should know. I'm unbribable. The witch's soldier is very easy to deceive. Okay, fine. Okay, I got you, Coraline. You're making a big mistake. Big mistake? I don't understand. You see, the other mother gave you that order because I didn't want her to sew my buttons for eyes, but I changed my mind. Look at me, I got the buttons for my eyes. I can see that. Your eyes are just like mine. Of course, or I'm one of yours. Now that we serve the other mother, that makes us kind of work buddies. Sound reasonable. I'll let you go then. Don't worry, I'll tell the other mother how good you do your job. Thanks a lot. I'll go since I haven't got anything else to do here. Take care. Let's have lunch one of these days together. Well, that was a nice, pleasant conversation. I don't need the glasses here. You know, two evil henchmen working together, just, you know, having a nice chit-chat. Um, are you having fun with this adventure? How about sharing it with your friends so they can have fun, too? I mean, uh... Why are you making me do this now? All these intermissions, they're confusing, but whatever. They were a nice surprise though. Why would we do that? I have no reasons. I'm sorry, Coraline. I don't want to catch you, but your other mother controls my movements. I can't help it. Okay, that's a pretty good game over screen. If you want to avoid being caught by the father pumpkin, you'll have to develop a strategy. That is the first time I've gotten a game over here, actually. I'm back. It turns out the walkthrough I was using was unreliable, so I had to look up another walkthrough. So let's look at this stone. As you can see, he's got an eye of a ghost. Just what I have to get. So let's throw this orange at him. That would delay it and give me some time to complete my plan. Okay, finally. So now. Okay, whoops. Whoopee, whoop, whoop. No. With liquid to make wood weak. There we go. Yes! Oh my god. Woo! Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, hey, take it back. There we go. We already have one. Two more to go. Okay, so... 
Next up, we have to go to these people. The Spickle of Fickle of whatevers. Hold on. Let's look in here. Yeah. Another eye. This does not look like an eye, but whatever. So. So, what is in here? Okay, yeah. Let's get the bats all riled up and. Oh, never mind. Uh. Okay, so. I failed to act quickly. Okay. This is all very illuminating, yes. Indubitably. And indeed. And in Dowdy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Yes. I have indeed come up with the greatest idea of all time. Woo. Duck. Because I can do that. My plan worked. We already have two. One more to go. Now let's go back here. So now, let's check the Ace of Spades. Now, with the Ace of Spades, it's very special. It lets us summon Jack Noir. Not just kidding. It has um, some Dance Dance Revolution numbers, which I guess is cool. So, up, left, left, left. Okay, so, now let's take a look at this piece of paper. Look, so, up, and then left for all those. So, that'll be, uh, uh, no, let's see, ace, okay. So, green, yellow, pink. So, one, five, seven, eight. Okay, got it. One, five, seven, eight. Done. Oh. Hello, Galobushka. My name's Coraline. Is this what you're looking for? Yes? Uh, yeah. Yes, give it to me. Do you really think that winning the game is good? You'll go home to your... You'll go to your real home and you'll be bored and ignored as always. We'll listen to you and laugh with you. I don't believe so. If you want to stay here, you'll have to have whatever you want forever. You don't get... Right, I don't get it. Oh, uh, and maybe not even that. Crap. So wait, what? Okay, I lost, um, I missed the dialogue. That sucked. That really sucked right there. Sucked so much. So mad that I missed the dialogue and that I don't know what I'm doing. That's also tragic. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Huh. So, there's got to be something here I can use. Cane. Now, the American people have a clear choice. Would you like to get smacked with a pimp cane or with the back of my hand? Hmm. Uh, just click on him, I guess. Well, that rat ran away with the eye of the ghost. I think I lost the game. I'll never see my parents again. Oh no, that sucks. Or not, you know, we could always just get it back. Hello, cat. I think I mentioned that I don't like rats. Cat, you're the best, thanks. Now I'm, 
must go home. I have yet to find my parents. Okay. I really wish I could have read that dialogue, but it popped up at such an inopportune time. Oh, there are the parents. And, oh boy, she's looking as creepy as ever. The other mother spider. Okay. Hello. I already found eyes. I don't believe you. Seeing is believing. Okay, fine. Found the eyes and already discovered where my parents are. Well, I uh, see you already have three eyes, but you have not told me where your parents are yet. They're behind that door. So, they are behind the door. Are you sure? Pretty sure. So, let's go check. Your parents are not there, baby. You lost. Do you have something to say? I cannot leave my parents. Now be a good girl and let me sew buttons on you so you can be here forever. To rescue your parents and return home safe, you'll, you'll have to be much more cunning than the spider witch. Also faster. So that's right, I forgot to get the cat. Where is he? And there you are. Can you come with me? Something tells me I'm going to need you. Okay, but something tells me that I won't like it. Okay, so... I'm in the eyes and discover where my parents are. You have not told me where your parents are yet. Okay, they're right here. Okay, they're behind that door. So they're behind that door, are you sure? Pretty sure, so let's check. Parents are not there, you lost. Do you have something to say? Yes! Cat! Cat attack! There we go. Let's go. Cannot leave the key here. Where's the key? Where's the key? Come on. Can't find the key. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Cat from hell, you torn my eyes out. I can't see. But I can, But I still can smell very well. You won't escape, Coraline. Um. Oh, hey, key. Nope, that was... Oh, yeah. Um... That to be very fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Use the eyes of the ghosts to help you close the door. And last one. Now, lock it. It's finally closed, but it was closed, but we finally got rid of the ridge. Coraline, we're here. Mom, Dad, I missed you so much. You missed us, but we just went shopping. Coraline, I think you broke my favorite snowball. Whoa. I didn't break it. It must have broke when you escaped from it. I don't know what you're talking about, Coraline, but you have snow on your heads. Snow in the summer? You're becoming wittier, Coraline. Get dressed for dinner. We have to celebrate. Don't tell me. The garden in Cala? Like, of course. What else would it be? They don't remember anything. Well, at least we'll have something tasty for dinner. Two hours long later. Dinner was delicious. It's time for you to go to sleep now. Don't forget about the yard party. Are you sure you want to organize a yard party? Yes, it'll help fraternize with the neighbors. Don't forget to send invitations, Mom. Even for Mr. Bobinski? Of course, he's kind of weird, but he's a good person. Okay, good night, honey. Good night. Good night. True parents. Hi. Aren't you mad? Are you mad? Sorry for throwing you at the other mother. It was the only thing I could come out with. It's time to rest. Let's go to sleep. He did something very good for us. I'm glad it ended. It ended for us. What about me? You're in great danger. How? I shut the door. It's the key. There's only one, and the witch will find it. It's not so bad. At least she's still alive. I have to hide the key in a place where she will never find. I think outside the house is the right place. Oh, yeah. The hand is coming. Okay, so get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nope, no. Nope. Should not have gone in there. Yeah, do the little dance. Must get rid of the key as soon as possible or the witch's hand will catch you and take you back to her forever. Okay, so... 
Well, I didn't run out of time. I just went somewhere I shouldn't have. Okay, so we got time. Oh, take this rock. This rock is very important. This rock is the most important thing in the entire world. Okay, so. So now, let's open up this hatch again. Because for some reason, the sand covered it. But anyway, let's put this stone right here. This rock and rock right there. Oak cane. No, it's a pimp cane, not an oak cane. And now, let's put the... Yeah. The... Crap. Crap, 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 crapity, crap loop. Crapity, clop loop. The hen is not going to throw itself into the well. I have to set her a trap. Okay, so... Well. Yes. Hmm. I wrote myself an equation for how to solve this problem, but I did not account for all the pieces of it. Oh, hey, there's the thing I need. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm out of time now. Yeah, do the hand dance thingy. Put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't can. Okay, so, like, at least I know what I'm doing now. Okay, so... Go out here. Okay, I have the piece of cloth. Okay, good. Everything's good. Everything's fine. It's cool. It's great. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's Thunderhand Megaton Explosion. Great. Amazing. Okay, whatever. Oak cane. Okay. Piece of cloth. And key to the secret door. Yeah, you got it, and now you're dead. Wabi, what are you doing here? Quiet, Coraline. I've seen everything. I've come to help. The hand can leave from the side of the pit. We have to stop it. Okay, so... That anvil! Coraline couldn't pick it up, but Wabi apparently took super steroids, so he can pick it up just fine. Let's throw it in. There we go. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't believe what you told me about the witch and everything else, Coraline. Why'd you change your mind? Your grandmother showed me this photo right after I called you crazy. She and her twin sister before she disappeared. Her twin sister had a doll like her, just like me. That explains everything. The twin sister of your grandmother was the ghost of the sweet little girl. Why, born? Come home. Now what am I going to say to her? Bring her home tomorrow. We can explain this together. Can we? You know something? I'm glad you scared me, because that way we can meet each other. It wasn't my idea. It was. Uh, it's a great cat. A true friend. The next morning. Thanks for helping me in this adventure. It was really exciting. The mice say as soon as they're ready, they'll give you a very special show. And remember, friends, there's always a way to find hidden things. You just need to search very carefully or look it on the walkthrough. If you like this adventure, visit Incagames.com and you'll find lots of more fun. Of course, it's the contest winner that's saying that. See you, friends. Okay. Sounds nice. So that was Coraline in the secret door. Oh, my God. What do I, what do I say about it? Well, I can see why it took the Inca Games team so long. There's a lot of polish to this one. It's really long. I liked it. Would I put it among my favorites? No, I kind of prefer the more uh, escape pig saw style better. But this was still interesting, sort of telling a story. I'm assuming following the story of the movie pretty well. Again, I've never seen the movie, so I wouldn't know. A lot of Inca Games fans like this, and I can see why. Um... This was a massive undertaking, as you would imagine, because it's two Because... And this video is probably going to be two hours. That is my prediction. Two hours. But, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. If you like this video, subscribe, and whatever. See ya. Bye. Next video next week. Whatever. Something. Goodbye.